Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today we are doing Peaks of Time, Trials of God again. And this time it's the Frozen Hinterland. Let's go, another Trial of God. This time we're getting another artifact for the support heroes. And let's see which trials to pick. As always, I will aim for something like 30, where is it? 32. Uh, points so we will get all the artifact pieces here i don't care about poor points that much that's not that many poor points and uh let's see uh oh my god yeah i gotta read them a valley of arrows falls upon allied heroes every five seconds during the battle each valley of arrows may contain eight to twelve arrows every arrow deals damage equal to five percent of allies heroes max health that's annoying uh at the end of the battles also having allies heroes lose 30 percent of the current health of the current, not the max health, so it's not that bad. Allied heroes that have not activated exclusive furniture abilities receive 50% more damage. Oh my god. So basically with this one, we don't want to use heroes that don't have their furniture on them. Next one. Enemy heroes that currently have less than 60% of their max health are immune to control effects. That's fair. What about this one? Uh, allies standing on the ally side of the battlefield receive 30% more damage. That's not really good. I prefer to turtle, but okay. Allies standing on the ally side of the battlefield deal 30% less damage. That doesn't work for us. We actually need just two more. So let's get one of the normal trials here. Increase life leech of enemy warriors heroes by 25 points. It's okay for me because I'm not afraid of the goddamn warriors. They don't do that much damage, so we won't die. Let's go with this. Begin adventure. Um, Alright, defeat all enemies. Uh, as always, we will figure out if it's linear or not, and it's really linear, more or less, so we can't really go back over here, only to this area, so we will leave those uh, level 216 enemies back there, and we will go straight to those guys. Alright, so we will try something like this, I think all of those guys, ah, Talin won't do, she doesn't have the furniture, oh god. So that would be more fair actually, because Talin is OP and not many people have her, specifically the furniture level, so we will uh, instead use someone else. I want to use Ainz actually. So let's try it like this, we'll see how it will go. Two times speed, so it won't be way too fast. We actually need more healing for this map. Uh, the enemies got decimated quite easily, if you ask me, so I didn't expect that. But we managed to take them out. Uh, moreover, I think we might want to change the team layout a little bit later. Replace Aaron with uh, someone who can heal us more, like Nimora maybe. But for now, we'll go with this. Because uh, survivability is a high priority over here, guys. The enemies are being decimated quite easily so far. So easily that we don't have time to heal ourselves. That is scary. Uh, okay, we can skip this one for now. So we'll go deeper into this group of uh, tanks and warriors. That will be interesting. Let's give it a try. I think this might go really bad, so I'm holding my finger on the restart button. Can we get some healing, please? We took the guys out and we got some healing. There we go, Sauros healed us all. Thank you, my friend. And Laika is almost dead there because of goddamn pain cheese. All right. Alright, so we, there, I think there are way more enemies than the usual uh, Trials of God over here. The next fight, uh, the enemies are already twice as strong as we are, and uh, there is a Talin here. That might be problematic. What if we will use Ainz instead of Laika? Ainz will do more damage, the enemies will die faster, and nobody will need that healing. Let's see. Bam, Ainz, two enemies are dead already. Two more left. Saurus is injured. Ainz with another ultimate. Bam. Uh, we have some healing going, that's good. So I would like to be able to out-heal everyone. That, that's pretty nice, we're at half of our health here. So not the craziest result, but pretty good. So we have uh, the hardest fights ahead of us. Those guys. Let's go and take out this enemy. Now they are like literally twice as strong as we are. So we will get back to row one and we'll do something like this. I wonder how it will go, let's give it a try. It might go well, it might go bad, but it's important that our guys would have their... Oh, that went really well because Ainz totally decimated everyone and we all got healed. And it went really well, we'll turn off auto as well so we can... Oh, okay. Everyone have energy and it was really, really easy. Alright, so before fighting those 264 enemies, 272... Oh, there are two 272 enemies and one 264. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's go and fight the guy at the end. 
because uh, this guy might be the hardest one. All right, so Nemora is being decimated, so we'll change positions with Tessie. Tessie can survive way more damage, and hopefully that will allow us to get out of this alive, and everyone will be well. Ainz with his ultimate, that's good. Most enemies will die by that, and Tessie with her ultimate, that will allow us... Oh, forgot to turn off auto, my god. Oh, we still have time. We have Wukong on our hands everywhere. So, uh, most of our guys have almost full health and almost full energy. That means that we're going for the second strongest enemy over here. And using our same team, turning on auto, healing up. And Rowan and Ainz and the enemies will be decimated. I'm pretty sure about that. Yes, they are being chased down by our might and power. The problem is, stun by Tessie didn't work. They totally ignored it. That was uh, scary. We killed most of them. Uh, come on. Oh, we lost row one here. Oh, God. My greediness made me lose row one. But okay, I can survive that. So we have uh, a lower difficulty enemies now. 264 group. Let's go. So instead of row one, we have to use someone else. Uh, who will it be? Mr. Lucius, I think. Lucius is a good guy. He has the shield and everything. And we'll place him in front of Antandra this time. So uh, Saurus can take out Graveborn enemies. Uh, that should be pretty good. Let's go and see how it will go. If we'll get enough healing. And don't forget to turn on auto, guys. That Because that is really important. The enemies are sleeping. Some of them. Some of them are not. Ultimate from Ainz. Tess is really injured, but Memora with her killing, and I think we are good. Most enemies are destroyed, we have Thorin, and we won. Oh my god, that's going way more smoothly than expected. I wish I were that difficulty. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we had that proper difficulty, but we are doing it way better than before. So, 240. 240 over here, we have mostly Graveborns and one Lightbearer. We will use the same team because Lucius can stand the Graveborns and everyone else. And I forgot to turn on Auto again. God damn it, Soviet. How could you? But yeah, it doesn't stop us from winning because we are doing a fantastic job. Turning off Auto, turning on Auto, so the next fight will be easy. And they are gone. I'm talking a little bit too fast. I'm sorry. So yes, let's go next chief enemy. I'm just a little bit too excited that all the fights are going so smoothly. Now, uh, over here we have a floor that might be a problem. Uh, Kelthor again. There are a lot of grave boards in this uh, enemy team. Let's go like that. I think it's suited very well for our team composition. And the enemies shouldn't be troublesome for us. Uh, Nimura with your healing. And Ainz, come on Ainz, we need your ultimate. Bam! There we go. Most enemies are dead, and the Kelthor is down to the Gust, and Floor is down, and the enemies are destroyed. That was actually pretty easy, unexpected. So yeah, guys, congratulations! You managed to get 32 points, get all the artifact fragments, got the new artifact, got extra stuff, and completed the Frozen Hinterland. Give this video a like for the hard trying and let me know in the comments if you feel that this Trials of God Adventure is easier than the rest of them, than the previous ones, because I remember I replayed most of the fights, but here I used just a random healer's team and Ainz and that saved the day. So yeah, I'm wondering how your adventure went. While you're going to the comment section, yes, leave the like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, hit that bell button so you won't miss any new videos, and check the pinned comment and the video description for additional links. We have the Discord, I would like to see you there, that's a nice place to be, we can talk about strategy, about everything, and I need your help because I'm still pretty noobish at this game. And there are more playlists for AFK Arena, more picks of time, more guides, more hero breakdowns, everything, and some of my social media as as well. So yeah guys, that's about it for now. Thank you for watching. Soviet out. До свидания.